the way we're going to be using these units, I think, will prove that the Bloom cells can operate either at a customer level, uh, whether it's an individual unit like this, uh, or it can operate where we're going to have 15 of these probably 10 minutes from here at our Brookside location. Uh, in fact, I hear that unit is actually going there, so anybody that's looking at that unit, don't scratch it, don't bump it, don't kick <laughs> it. I think that's ours, so I want to make sure it looks as good when it gets out to the site. Or 135 of these units sitting out at our uh, Red Line substation. So, it, you know, ev as you can see, a tremendous amount of flexibility all the way from the customer to the grid. Uh, and so for us, that flexibility is important. But, but I have to say, you know, we want to be on the forefront of understanding what distributed generation means to us, especially with this kind of a unit. And that's part of what this relationship is about, working with the university, working with Bloom, working with our company and others in the industry. We're hoping to learn a lot about how this can help in a distributed generation fashion. Because at the end of the day, we just want to benefit our customers. It doesn't ma matter whether it's a huge power plant or whether it's a single Bloom fuel cell unit. If it can bring a benefit, we want to learn about it and be on the forefront.